Hello. Today I will show you an unusual way of sowing tomatoes for seedlings. Using which your seeds will germinate quickly. The method is very simple, and you have definitely not seen this before. For this, the container in which you will grow tomatoes must be filled with soil and left at least half an inch at the top without soil. And the container itself must be at least 2 inches deep. And most importantly, we need ordinary toilet paper or newspapers. With which you need to completely cover the soil in the container in one layer. You can also use paper towels in addition to toilet paper. Which, according to my observations, is even better, since paper towels absorb moisture faster and retain it longer. Then, in order for the rows to be even, and also to separate the varieties that I will plant, I use these wooden sticks, they are needed exclusively for separation. Now you need to moisten the paper, I already showed a similar method with peppers and it showed an excellent result that you see now on your screen. Seedlings are strong, all one in one. And all thanks to the fact that toilet paper or paper towels retain moisture for a long time. Directly in the place where the seeds are located, and accordingly they germinate faster. But, and now we actually lay out the seeds. I would advise you from my many years of experience to spread the seeds at least one inch apart from each other. This will be necessary in the future, in order to keep the seedlings longer in the container, before transplanting into pots. So that the seedlings take up less space in your room, and the distance between the rows should be 2 inches. This has also been tested on personal experience. There will be no competition for lighting between plants in the rows. Then after spreading the seeds, the wooden sticks can be removed. Also the advantage of the paper being already wet is that the seeds stick to it quickly, and will no longer move when I cover them with a layer of soil from above. Although I would advise you to use cocoa core, that's what I use. It is much more efficient than soil, because of the following properties. The first is that the coconut substrate is very moisture absorbing and breathable, and also, it is absolutely sterile. Fungi and rot cannot develop on its surface. I cover with a half inch layer of dry cocoa substrate. As you can see the moisture penetrates very quickly and passes through the entire thickness of the cocoa substrate. But I want to note that if you grow seedlings purely in a coconut substrate, then nothing good will grow out of it. Because I already said that it is absolutely sterile, there are no various pathogens of fungal diseases in it, and there is also no nutrition for seedlings. Seeds need it only to create optimal humidity and oxygen availability, that's actually its whole function. Now another advantage of growing in this way. Using toilet paper and cocoa substrate I don't need to cover my container with glass or film to create a greenhouse effect. I just put this container in a warm place with an ambient temperature of 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Seeds germinate on the fourth day. And all thanks to the fact that under the seeds lies toilet paper, which is very wet, and on top of the coconut substrate, which also moisturizes the seeds from above. Try this method and you won't regret it. And next year you will grow only in this way. So to whom the information from this video was useful, be sure to like it. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. And also subscribe to my channel. So as not to miss the release of new videos. I wish you a good day. See you in new videos.